Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. The natural world is an ever-changing, ever-shifting beast. Mountains rise, valleys form, glaciers meander across the landscape. The face of our planet is malleable, ever-moving. But if we ask you to name the strangest natural phenomena on Earth, chances are that nobody would say lakes. Bad move. Turns out these placid-seeming bodies of water are home to some of the craziest, weirdest Easter eggs of the natural world. These lakes are unique in their own ways, some even bordering on strange. But we all like a little absurdity in our lives every so often, don't we? Number 12. Devil's Kettle As far as natural mysteries go, the Devil's Kettle in Minnesota is one of the most intriguing ones. At a particular point along the Brule River, the river's water splits into two. One split continues its course onto the Lake Superior, and the other split, well, we have no clue where it goes. Scientists know it has to end up somewhere, but we don't know where that is. Scientists first tried putting dye into the kettle and waited to see which part of the lake turns up with the colours. It was a futile effort, nothing turned up. Next, they decided to try with ping-pong balls. They also vanished without a trace. What the heck is going on? We all know that laws of science dictate that the water has to turn up somewhere. Even if it's being stored underground, there should be markings and it should be traceable. Aliens? Parallel universe? Glitch in our programming? Some Mayan trick? Your guess is as good as mine. Number 11. Spotted Lake, British Columbia, Canada The lake that lies in Osuyus in British Columbia gets its name from its appearance. It's literally filled with spots. Spotted Lake contains several spots in varying colors that are visible even from afar. Studies have shown that the lake contains higher levels of different minerals such as magnesium and sodium sulfates, plus calcium. These elements cause the spots to crystallize and form natural walkways around the pools during the warm summer season. The unique aspect of the lake led ancient folk to believe that the area was sacred and had a supernatural aura surrounding it. Number 10. Hells of Beppu The Hells of Beppu attracts visitors worldwide, but beware! These aren't your regular run-of-the-mill hot springs as their temperatures are too high for anyone to soak in safely, and these hot-as-hell pools have very different and unique attributes for visitors worldwide to enjoy. There's Umichigoku, a lake with a beautiful blue color that reminds of a crystalline sea born over 1,200 years ago from the explosion of the Surumi volcano. Surrounded by beautiful vegetation, tropical palms, and a small Shinto temple, it's listed among the national sites of scenic beauty. Of incredible beauty, its waters reach a temperature of 98 degrees Celsius. There's Onishibozu Chigoku, a bubbling of bubbles in muddy puddles that creates a hypnotic effect. The bubble forms, swells and explodes, creating concentric circles around the bubble, thus reminding us of the shaven heads of the monks. And for the foodies, there's Kamero Chigoku, known as the cooking pot hell. It's where to get eggs, vegetables and sweet dumplings, all steamed to perfection by hot spring vapors. You may also enjoy hand and foot baths there if you wish, and why not? Just don't stick your feet in this next pool. The Oniyama Pool is home to a large number of crocodiles kept on the grounds and known as the Monster Mountain Hell, and there's the Blood Pond Hell which features a cauldron of hot red water caused by the levels of iron and magnesium in rich clay that seeps into the pool from the ground. And last but not least, the Tsatsumaki Pool, known as the Tornado Hell, stars a hot geezer that erupts erratically about every 30 to 40 minutes. Sounds like fun. Japan's Hells of Beppu has everything. Number 9. Pitch Lake, Trinidad Pitch Lake may have the most apt name of any lake on Earth. It's a lake made entirely from pitch asphalt, the same stuff we use to surface roads and so on. You better believe the result is weird. Pitch Lake is so thick in places that you can walk across it, and so dangerously thin in others that you can slip through its surface, vanishing forever into the murky depths below. The lake's surface ranges in texture from being as thick and solid as rock, to as springy as an eraser, to as squidgy and terrifying as quicksand. Trees, boulders and other bits and pieces that fall into its embrace often get stuck to the surface, and where the pitch hardens around them effectively turns them into stone. This means Pitch Lake is a lake that you walk across while surrounded with the statues of dead trees and other life forms. We're betting that's not a sentence you hear very often. Word to the wise, if you're planning a visit, while some tourists brave the lake's clearer waters for a swim, this is about as dangerous as the idea of swimming in pitch sounds. Don't say we didn't warn you. Number 8. Lost Lake, Oregon As we saw with Gasser Lake in Tunisia, it's possible to have a lake that just spontaneously appears from nowhere. But what about one that disappears? Lost Lake in Oregon is such a lake. Every summer, the 9-foot-deep 85-laker lake quietly vanishes. 
Every fall, it reappears again, as if nothing ever happened. We don't mean most of it dries up or anything, it utterly vanishes. In its place, a pretty little meadow appears that has no trace of water in it at all. The reason this happens? Lava tubes. Lava tubes are, well, tubes in rock that are left over from ancient lava flows. They can be less than a foot across or big enough to walk into. There are two small ones in Lost Lake, constantly draining water off from the surface, ensuring the lake doesn't flood in winter. In summer, however, the streams that feed Lost Lake dry up. As a result, the lava tubes completely drain the lake dry, until the rainfalls come and the two little tubes can no longer keep up with all the water flowing in, and the lake reappears. Number 7. Lake Hillier, Esperance, Western Australia when a lake is colored bubblegum pink, just like Lake Hillier is, you tend to have some suspicions of what lies beneath it to make it look so strange. But there's actually an explanation for the lake's appearance. Lying in the Recherche Archipelago in Western Australia, Lake Hillier is surrounded by eucalyptus trees, making the pink color stand out distinctly. Scientists believe that the hue is emitted by a dye that was created by bacteria festering in the lake's depths. Number 6. Rupkund Lake, India there are certain things you never want to find in any body of water. Piranhas is one. The decaying remains of hundreds of humans who've died a terrifying death is another. Yet that's exactly what British troops found in Rupkund Lake in the winter of 1942. It being wartime and all, the Brits naturally assumed that they were at the scene of a Japanese massacre. The truth was far, far stranger. When the bones were examined, it turned out they'd all dated to around 850 AD. On top of that, they'd all been killed in a similar way with a blow to the head that cracked their skulls. The injury matched no known weapon, so what could have caused 200 people to die in this way? The eventual answer scientists came up with was hailstones. Really, really big hailstones. There's an old song from the region around Rupkund about a mountain goddess who smote a bunch of travelers with a titanic hailstorm. It's now thought that this is a folk memory of a real event, and a freak hailstorm that dropped baseball-sized chunks of solid ice killed all 200 pilgrims in the valley when they couldn't reach shelter. Over time, the valley filled with water, eventually becoming the skeleton-haunted Rupkund Lake. Number 5. Mount Kelimutu In the island of Flores in Indonesia, Mount Kelimutu is the set of three pristine lakes in the national park of the same name. These lakes are the results of volcanic eruption and all are of different colors – blue, turquoise, and even black. Well, if you're thinking that this is the mystery of this place, then I suggest you hold on. These are one of those colors in which you can expect to see the lakes. Sometimes, the colors even change to white or red because of the proximity of each lake with the underlying volcano. However, the change of their hue is unpredictable. Tourists have also seen one of these lakes in dark brown color. Unbelievable, right? Next up, confluence of Rhone and Ave rivers. The Ave and Rhone are the two beautiful rivers with two different colors that meet at a certain point in Geneva, the second most popular city in Switzerland, and make an amazing natural occurrence there. The color of Rhone River is blue and the Ave River is brown. The most amazing fact is that after their confluence, both rivers never mix fully due to the difference in density. The Rhone is one of the major rivers of Europe, rising in the Rhone Glacier in the Swiss Alps. On the other hand, Ave River receives water from the many glaciers of the Chamonix Valley before flowing northwest into the Rhone on the west side of Geneva, where its much higher level of silt brings forth a striking contrast between the two rivers. After joining these two rivers, their water flows together into one final river, Rhone. Next, Abraham Lake, Alberta, Canada. Abraham Lake in Canada's Banff National Park is actually an artificial body of water. It was created in 1972 with the construction of the Bighorn Dam. But this lake, along with two others in the park, has become known for a naturally occurring phenomenon. Frozen bubbles of methane gas appear like icy circles trapped within the frozen lake. In the summer, the methane bubbles rise to the surface and pop. In the winter, the gas bubbles stay frozen within the ice as they travel to the surface. When permafrost thaws out, it causes organic matter at the bottom of the lake to do likewise. As microbes decompose the organic matter, methane is released. Since methane isn't soluble, it forms into bubbles instead. Lake Natron While passing over northeastern Tanzania in 2017, the NASA's Landsat-8 satellite captures a strange image of the red glowing lake. The lake color appears so unnatural. It looks like runoff from an industrial slaughterhouse or something monstrous is lurking underneath it. But that's not it at all. According to local legend, the lake turns anything that touches it into stone, and that's the reason the lake is also known as Medusa Lake. 
Legend states that Medusa was once a beautiful avowed priestess of Athena who was cursed for breaking her vow of celibacy. Anyone who locked gaze with Medusa will be turned to stone. Medusa is beheaded by the Greek hero Perseus and her blood drips on to Africa. A deeper investigation revealed that the Medusa Lake has not always been red. Previous satellite images reveal that its color is changing. Upon further inspection of the red water, experts found that it abounded in high amounts of cyanobacteria living in the environment, and it turns out that they are red. Experts believe when the population of this bacteria increases, the lake is becoming more reddish. But how will they explain the animal statues? Unlike those other lakes, though, Lake Natron, or Medusa, is extremely alkaline due to high amounts of the chemical natron, a mix of sodium carbonate and baking soda, in the water. The water's pH has been measured as high as 10.5, nearly as high as ammonia, and this is what causes the animals to turn into stone. That's not all. Some believe that this bizarre phenomenon has something to do with a volcano that's very close to Natron Lake called Oldoinyo Lengai, Mountain of God in the Maasai language, which produces unique natronocarbonatite lava. Experts still weren't able to find out the exact reason. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. And lastly, Caval dos Conchos. Despite its appearance, the surreal-looking opening in Portugal's Lagao da Serra da Estrela is actually not a portal to any other time or place, but rather a man-made funnel leading into a long tunnel. Though it looks like a natural sinkhole lined with cascading waterfalls, Caval dos Conchos is in fact a wonder of engineering. This lake in the Serra da Estrela Mountains was artificially created in 1955 during the construction of the nearby hydroelectric dam. Instead of building a pipeline to channel water between Lagao Serra da Estrela and Lagao Comprida, the engineers working on the project decided to drill a tunnel through the mountain to connect the two lakes. The spillway is designed to provide nearby communities with fresh water, but the fact that no other constructions are present nearby makes the funnel seem more like a part of the lake than a part of an infrastructure project. What's more, there are plants growing around the edges of the concrete and granite drain pipe, making the giant hole look even more natural. This sci-fi-looking spillway was a little-known secret in Portugal until photos of the hole went viral in 2016. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button, do share, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.